Out front tonight, face to face with a gunman, a longtime photographer for the Dallas Morning News, finding himself in the middle of the story, just feet away from a heavily armed man shooting up a federal building in, building in Dallas. Diane Gallagher is out front. I was just praying that he couldn't see me. If he would have saw me, he would have shot me. No doubt. That terrifying scene as a 22-year-old Army veteran, heavily armed and seemingly dressed for battle, opened fire outside the federal building and courthouse in downtown Dallas. I heard three pops, thinking it was just some backfire from a car. After the third shot, I knew it wasn't. Dallas Morning News photographer Tom Fox was standing outside waiting to photograph a defendant arriving for jury selection when the bullets started flying. I noticed somebody on the sidewalk near the corner. So when I didn't know what it was, so I just pulled up a long lens and uh, looked through the viewfinder and saw the muzzle of the gun and, and the guy with the mask on. Fox snapped this chilling photo of the gunman, Brian Isaac Clyde. I just went into, okay, this is my job. This is what I've been been doing for almost 30 years. Just stay close to the story, but not in danger. But then realized he needed to take cover. I gotta get out of the harm's way. He's coming this way. I didn't want to be shot in the back, and so I just ducked into the first alcove. Cell phone video filmed by Tim Brown from his apartment just across the street shows Fox just a few feet from Clyde during those chaotic moments. I'm in plain sight, um, and if he saw me sitting there with a camera, he would, I, I have no doubt he would have shot me. Federal Protective Service officer shot and killed Clyde before he ever got a chance to go into the building or hurt anyone. Think about friends. You think about things that are important to you. This is not the way I want to go. And look, hiding behind something like this, along with that quick response from those federal officers, is likely what helped save Tom. Now, the FBI just within the past hour announced that the building here, it is safe. We're up next to it. Still a lot of broken glass, bullet holes you can see just about everywhere. There's still blood stains on the ground, Aaron. Hmm. What they are asking for, though, is help. If you got video, if you got pictures, please submit them to the FBI. All right, thank you very much, Diane. Pretty incredible story.